Hi, Phil Bedford here and welcome to the Rebel Networker. This week's show, we're going to be talking about the three types of network that you can be focusing on to build a large, reliable, supportive structure that will be driving your life and increasing the quality of it while building your business as well. So we're going to be talking this week about the three types of network. For a lot of people, all they think about when they're networking is how to get referrals, how to get more business. Some of the other key elements are actually who are in your information network. For example, when you need to know something, who do you call? Quite often when we do need information, we need it now. We don't need it in an hour, an hour and a half after we've researched. So if you needed to ask a lawyer a question, do you have someone you could call right now? If you need to know which hotel has the best spa, do you have someone you could call right now? A lot of these people in the information network could be previous bosses, they could be people who are currently in the same field as you, people that give us information. The second area is support. Who do we go to when we need help? Now this help could be emotional. We could just be having a bad day and we just need to, ah, we need to scream and let off stress. That's support. If you need a lift to the airport, who would you call? And by the way, I honestly believe you can check out who your real friends are because they'll give you a lift to the airport. Who else gives you support? It could be financial. This is important. And a lot of us tend to ignore this part of our network. We take it for granted. The third part, as I've mentioned, is our referral network. And in later shows, we will actually be breaking this down slightly into a little bit more definitive areas to see how we can work on this. But our referral network is obviously important to grow our business. Now, as we start to look at individuals, we'll start to see some of them will fall just into one section. Others may fall into another one. The key relationships we need to be spending our time with are those that start to fall into multiple networks. If I can find an individual, for example, who's in my information, my support, and my referral network, that would be a good individual to start spending more time with and see if I can help them grow the business so we can mutually improve the quality of our lives. And this week on Ask Dr. Phil, we've got a question from Craig, who's in graphic design in the UK. And he says that he's now starting to travel more frequently to the Far East and this area of the world. And he says, Phil, is there any etiquette that I need to be aware of? Well, actually, Craig, I'm just going to give you a couple of tips with a simple tool, which is the business card. In Asian countries, and this is India and also the Far East, when you hand over your business card, you hand it over with two hands. One hand is an insult. So when you hand over the card, you take it and give it with two hands. And when you receive it, you look at the card once, and that's it. Don't look at it again. Another element would be a lot of good networkers will actually take the business card and actually write notes on there so that they can follow up at a future date. In many Asian countries, this would be an insult. So do not write on the card in front of the person. Coming up next week, some more great tips on Ask Dr. Phil.